She's lost. Lost her husband. Lost her way. Then the darker way. The road that leads into the funnel. Lost her own. Found the wrestler from the stars. Eater of dimensions. The blind piper. Welcome to another video review by Cinepeak Geek. Today I'm going to talk about a TNT original television series by the name of Monday Mornings. I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon episode 2 titled Duos Ex Machina. And forgive me if I pronounced that wrong. Anyways, uh, let's get to tonight's episode. Tonight's episode was about a lot of stuff. We had pretty much the main gist of the episode was about a little girl that came in and she has, uh, I believe she has cancer or something like that, like a brain tumor in her head or something like that. And she has cancer, and she pretty much says, you know, I don't, she says, you know, I don't, she's made the decision, she's a very mature girl for being at the age of 13, and she says, you know, I don't want to have any more treatment done, I don't want to go through chemo or anything like that. Uh, she says, you know, I want to die in the next few months of natural causes and not be hooked up to machines or wires, I want to live out the rest of my life. And, you know, in just being natural and not being having to live in a hospital for the next few months. Uh, and that's what she said. And that, that when she said that to Alfred Molina's character, that was the literally the best moment of the episode. She actually, I wasn't sure if she was going to live, but I found out later on in the episode uh, that she ended up, did she actually did end up living. Uh, and then she asked Alfred Molina's character to do something for her. Uh, to shave his head, that way she would smile, and he shaved his head. Another nice, kind of comical, but also another little sentimental moment in the series. A great moment in the series. Great episode overall. But that was pretty much the gist of it. Uh, and the, the, the uh, I, I forget the guy's name, but the, I guess he's like Chinese, the, the foreign guy, I hate to refer to him that way, I'm not meaning to sound racial, but the foreign guy in the series says, he's, you know, he says, you know, she, at first, she doesn't want to do the surgery. She does not want to go through with the surgery at all she's like i've had too much surgery so this entire episode pretty much they're trying to convince this little 13 year old girl saying if you're not going to have the surgery you're going to die and the little girl is perfectly okay with dying so throughout this entire episode they're trying to convince her you know hey you got to have this done you know bing rames character he tries to convince her uh for melina he tries to convince her uh keong sim uh the foreign guy he tries to convince her so i mean they're really trying to convince her. And, of course, by the end of the episode, they end up convincing her to have the surgery, and she ends up living after all. So, you know, they weren't for sure. It was like a 50-50 thing, and then ended up playing out in the good range where she ended up living. A great episode. Uh, a few other minor things happened, like, I forget the girl's name, but the girl was asked out by uh, by John Lieberman. I forget the actor's name. But John, John Lieberman's character, I think that's his name. Uh, John Lieberman asked out a girl. We also found out that the, I forget the guy's name, but the shaggy hair doctor, that's what I'm going to call him because he has shaggy hair. Huh. Uh, anyways, uh, he has been hallucinating about the kid who had brain tumor. The kid that died of a brain tumor, tumor died during surgery because of, of a bleeding. Anyways, uh, he's been uh, hallucinating after the death, you know, and he pretty much, he wanted to meet up with uh, the, the little, the brain, the uh, boy's mom. And uh, some of the people in the hospital didn't think that was a good idea. He thinks it's a good idea because – I guess he thinks it's a good idea because he pretty much wants to uh, have closure because he still feels bad about the little boy dying because he hallucinates. He halluc he has a dream at the beginning of the episode. It's a great – another great sequence where every, all the doctors in the, in the room are laughing and they're like hysterically laughing at him saying, you know, oh, you could have done something. 
and he, he dreams, and then he's talking to a patient, and he ends up having another hallucination of the boy's mother, and uh, just throughout this entire episode, he's hallucinating about what's happened. Uh, those are pretty much the two central main points in this episode. Uh, my favorite part of this episode, like I said, uh, definitely was when the little girl and Alfred Molina's were talking, and they were trying to convince, you know, he was trying, she was saying, you know, I don't want to have to be hooked up to machines, I don't want to have to go through chemo. She was giving him uh, her life story, and just a great kid act actress. I've never seen her in anything, but for, for being such, for being a kid, she did a fantastic job. I'm not saying kids can't act, but she did amazing. You know, for a kid, you know that's 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 awesome that she can do that with with her with her vocal delivery, with her facial expressions. I mean, everything was spot on. I literally, no joke, wanted to cry at that exact moment of episode two titled. Uh, Duos Ex Machina, and the reason it's titled that is because it's something that she references, and then Ving Rhames and a few of the other characters reference this idea in the movie, and I won't say what the idea is if you don't know what it is, uh, that way, you know, it can kind of surprise you. So anyways, uh, really enjoy this episode, a great episode, I think, honestly, I'm watching several t uh, television series right now, and I honestly think, have to say that I think Monday Mornings right now is probably my favorite. I know I really can't say that yet because I've only seen uh, two episodes in the series, so I need to wait till I see more to see how the series ends up being. But right now, I think Monday Mornings is my favorite. It's just great drama. I mean, great suspense. You know, you don't know what's going to happen next. You're watching these uh, doctors, you know, live out their lives. These, you know, these five surgeons just live out their lives. They get in relationships. Patients die. Patients live. Uh, they have these, uh, you know, group sessions every Monday morning. That's why the title of the series. Every Monday morning, they have these sessions, you know, analyzing whether or not they're going doing a good job as being a surgeon. Uh, just, just a great series. And uh, I don't know if they plan on having any other seasons. I don't know if they plan on summing up the book all in one season or progressing it to have more than one season. I would love to see Monday mornings last for a good five or six years, maybe even ten years. But you never know with TV, right? Anyways, uh... Next week's episode, uh, let me try to think of something else uh, before I get into before I end the video. Let me try to think of anything else that I really enjoyed. Like I said, that one moment, there was a moment towards I really like Kyung Sin. He's he's the foreign guy I was talking about. I think he might be one of my favorite characters in the show, uh, if not my favorite. I just you know Ving Rhames is really cool. Alfred Molina is really cool, and Kyung Sin is also a fantastic actor. I haven't seen him in anything. Uh, I think it was in the Last Airbender, the live action adaptation. Of you know of the Nickelodeon television series Avatar, but I really enjoy him. He's just he's just really cool. Uh, he was he also tried to convince her you know hey don't do the surgery and I just I every moment with him was just great. I he's cool. I just a really cool character. Really enjoyed him. Uh, I also enjoyed Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames is a phenomenal actor in this movie. There's a point there's a there's a part where he says you he tells the girl about miracles, and he said, and she's she's not convinced. Alfred Molina is not able to convince her. So they're all in the same room, Alfred Molina, uh, Keong Sim, and then uh, Alf, uh, Bing Rames. And Bing Rames says, you know, he refers to the whole Duo Sex Machina thing and says, you know, miracles can happen. So allow us to do this miracle on you. And uh, that was that was a great moment. I, I really enjoyed that. They also refer to God about two or three times in the episode. A nice sentimental moment. All the, all the way up, and it just made the whole episode a nice sentimental episode overall. Uh, just good stuff. I love Monday mornings. A medical drama at its best. Anyways, uh, next week's episode is episode 3 titled, Who's Sorry Now? And uh, it looks really good. Uh, just five doctors dealing with the drama that goes with working at a hospital. Anyways, uh... Like I said, episode 3 titled, Who's Sorry Now? If you're curious, it comes on every uh, Monday night at 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock for everyone else, on the channel TNT, for those of you who have satellite, Dish Direct, Cox, whatever it might be. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the page below, and I'll see you guys later with more episodic reviews of Monday mornings.